when I start to create, I can't really say what I feel, but I know I feel comfortable and I feel like I'm supposed to be in that state of mind. My name is King Saladin, artist, creator, entrepreneur from Philadelphia. Growing up in Philly gives you tough skin, whatever you're trying to do. The environment wasn't the safest, wasn't the best, it wasn't a whole lot of opportunity, but we made the best of it. The first time that I really knew that I wanted to create art, I think was around maybe like five or six. I used to always get in trouble for like writing on my walls inside of my room. Then my mom allowed me to write on just my room. She said no kitchen, no hallways, nothing else inside of the house, but I can have my room. It was free reign. After that, it was no looking back. I started off loving basketball, like sports were like my main thing. You know, growing up in the inner city, that's what everybody gravitated to. I always loved art, but I didn't think it was something that could turn into anything. So I fell in love with sports and basketball because I seen a good outcome from that. But I felt like everybody was 6'2", could jump, could shoot, but everybody couldn't do the things that like my closest friends knew I could do. So I started really thinking and dabbling into like, maybe I could have a career at this. The way I would describe my artistic style is free-spirited, unconventional, because I'm self-taught. I never went to art school for any of this stuff. People know me for my color. I went to Disney World when I was probably, I think, like 10 or 11. From Philadelphia to Florida, it was like two different worlds. I wanted to implement those colors because it made me feel totally different than when I was home in Philly. My best friend, JP, he was the first person that took me to New York. I got to see a lot going to New York. My brain was just on fire, like, I don't believe this place exists with art and just music and just the culture and everything. New York was one of the places that just turned my career totally, totally up. When I first got the call from, you know, my team saying that, you know, we got a call from the Rangers, they wanted to do something cool. It was exciting because I don't come from hockey. It was one of the sports that I always loved because it was action, like the whole game. So me getting a call to be able to do it later on in life and create and pretty much put my spin on something with hockey, it was, it was amazing. I painted a few helmets before, never a hockey helmet or anything like that. The way I'm expressing most of my feeling through these pieces is really abstract as you can get. Based off emotion and energy, color is definitely the number one thing that I wanna almost use as a language. It's about their personality and how they really go about the game, that I'm getting these color blends and these splashes and how things are going different directions. It's not staying still, because these dudes do not stand still. Here's Fox going to the net. So for Adam Fox, we both love the Mighty Ducks. That's gonna be something like a little Easter egg that I'm gonna put in there. And hopefully he'll see it, it's gonna be pretty small. So the inspiration that I got from Keandre Miller was that um, he's an outdoorsman, he loves the lake life. So I wanted to put those blues that just revolve back to the nature aspect. For Jacob Truba's art, he's an electrifying player. Me watching his highlights were like, like, come on. Jump right to I wanted to add that energy into his to his helmet. I just hope that each player may kind of, you know, get a good vibe from, from the art that I created. It's just a blessing, man. I'm just happy that I can continue to do these type of projects, meet new people, and just show, you know, different worlds and different avenues of my talent. I didn't have a lot of opportunity to work on anything at one point in my life, so now, it's like a kid in a candy store, honestly, with all these opportunities, and that's a great feeling.